good, y'all? It's your boy Danny Myers, and you are tuned in T7M Radio, Battle Rap's premier radio network. T7M Radio, this is the coach with Seven Mitchell on the line. We got DC Zone from the Boss Chick Battle League. We got the girl Rose Rowe in the building. Rose was popping. Who up, Seven? Rose Rowe in the motherfucking building. What's up? Oh, Long man, time. appreciate you. You already know. Yeah, nah, it's been a long time, man. Oh, yeah, I had, definitely had to catch up with you. Facts, man. Appreciate you as always. Hey, Rose, let the people know where they can follow you at on social media before we get started real quick. Yo, I got two social medias, right? So we on Facebook, Rose Rose, the regular battle name, or you can holler at me on Instagram. You can look me up and find me with Rose Rose, but my name is BC's Roller Coaster on that one. So either way, you'll find me with the battle rap name, Rose Row. No doubt. Yo, it's going down May the 6th out in Cleveland. Boss Chick Battle League, Pink Cocaine. They got this crazy collaboration, Cocaine Cowgirls. You on the card. But the shit kind of got readjusted when it come to you, Rose. Like, what the fuck happened to Springs? Hey, I, I'm asking the same question. Like, real live. I'm asking the same question. But, I mean, honestly... She just never showed up. Like, she booked the battle and didn't show up. Like, she's... Ever since... From my understanding, ever since we had to talk, yeah, we both gonna take the battle, that's just... She's just been non-existent. I don't know, man. Maybe the monsters got her or some shit. <laughs> talk that shit. I mean, were you disappointed? Of course, it's an opportunity. So, you know, at first it was just kind of a letdown. But were you disappointed that... Because I thought that matchup really would have been fire. You know what I'm saying? The, the look would have been crazy. Um, it's half and half. I was disappointed because I, I already started writing for her. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm thinking of bars that I'm probably not going, you know, it's particular to her. So, I mean, in that sense, it was a little frustrating. And, I mean, yeah, she, she did have a name once before. But it's... it's I can do better, you know, like, right. I mean, and then I, I didn't want no half ass battle anyway, so, I mean, people can say what they want to say about me, but I done bought 100% for a battle every time, so, I didn't, oh, yeah. you know, if she really didn't want to take the battle, you know, I'd just rather her not take it. That's a fact, and we're going to definitely break it down a little bit as far as the resume, but you do got a replacement going down May the 6th, um, you want to speak on your opponent? Big head ass nigga. Mm-hmm. We we, we got Texas. to go on. I guess we got to, you know what? But yeah, nah. Um, a, a gentleman by the name of F and F A K. Um, he, from what I hear, he's a hometown favorite in Cleveland. So I think that's definitely gonna be dope. I think right. our our battle in the building definitely gonna have some shine, you know, due to his clout already in his city. So. I, I, I mean, I'm looking forward to it, you know, going to somebody else's home, wrecking their shit, and coming back. Now, I know on cam, you're not a stranger to battling guys. I, if Have you have you battled a guy before on cam? I actually this have. Uh, my last okay. opponent was DC Breeze. He had dope DC uh, battle rapper down here. Uh, Capital One Cut. off in a one-rounder. Yeah, and Cabo on Cut, and um, it just dropped not too long ago, so I'm going to definitely link the footage in the group again, but yeah, okay. it, it, it's out now. Word, word. So, it's a big-time event going down May the 6th. How excited are you overall to be on the card, and how excited are you for the brand? I'm, I'm extra excited. First, I got to say the good. I'm extra excited for BCBL as a whole. I'm extra excited. Extra, extra excited for Pink Cocaine and Nina and all she does. So I'm just happy we back out there. We pushing another car. You know, you you gotta keep shit rolling regardless of what happens and all that. So I'm I'm definitely excited for that. Um, for the card, I'm just now getting in my bag. Like, don't get me wrong, my rounds and everything done. That's cool, but as far as the feeling and excitement now that it's kind of like. Christmas. You don't think about Christmas until probably like it's time to start a bad right. So right, right. Yeah, so it's like now it's getting closer the excitement is getting a little hype. I was just just before we got on this joint, I'm going over my bar, so I'm kinda, you know, it's 
Yeah, I'm starting to feel it. Well, the ladies on social media is definitely hyping up the event. You know, Lady J and Lady Tunes, they going back and forth on They going at it. Hey, they funny as shit. I know. And and Matrix and, and Boogie uh, Blue, that's going to be dope. It's a lot of dope matchups that's going to be on this card. Outside of your battle, which one in particular are you looking forward to the most? I knew this question might have been coming, and I thought I had an answer, <laughs> but it's some dope matches, so it's kind of yeah. hard to pick. But honestly, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Fly King guy in, in, in a live performance. It's what, I've been to enough events to know there is a big difference from watching a battle in the building and feeling that, that presence in the moment versus just seeing the after, you know, seeing the visuals of it. So I definitely want to see Fly King guy live. And I'm, yeah, I'm, and, I'm excited to Fane, see the actress. Go ahead, him and D Fane could be battle with a night, especially performing. I haven't. You haven't, haven't seen D Fane perform? Fane. <sighs> no, and I'm, I'm, before I do my predictions, log, I, I definitely got to check out a few people on the call so I can give an accurate prediction. You know, I don't want to talk what I don't know. So. I mean, I'm excited to see Fly King guy, but right now I'm not going to give a prediction on it because I, I don't know what D-Fame is about. So it'll be pretty insulting to just be like, Fly King 3-0. <laughs> I can see but that. I definitely, look, I definitely look forward to them. And the the battle, the main event, I think everybody looking forward to that. To me, I mean, you know, everyone's calling it a mirror match, and of course it is. But it's just, to me, is I love energetic battles. And the actors bring that energy. Last time I seen Matrimony, she brought that energy. So I definitely want to see that. I know it's going to be hyped. And, yeah, that, that, I think that's the best, going to be the best battle. It's a beautiful. It's, it's going to be a beautiful thing made of six. I can't wait. Salute to all of y'all. The Culture with Seven Mitchell Battle Rap Debate Podcast. On T7M Radio, every Sunday and Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 347-989-8102. And, follow us on social media, at T7M Radio.